Hello everyone, I'm Big Wolf Chris and welcome back to ExoGate Initiative where I'm the executive officer of this underground facility where we send folks off well to explore and make new discoveries. Last time we sent Alpha Team out to another world. We found life in their first attempt. The mission also being live streamed to the whole world with the viewers voting to get the bio samples in the most dangerous way possible because of course they would. This episode, we're going to try and, and recruit more gators, get more research, expand the base, and to see what else happens, really. First of all, we are going to send Alpha Team back out on another mission. Uh, first thing we're going to notice is that there's now a new something hovering above the planet that we've been to. This something allows us to claim the planet as ours. Just press that, press that, and there, it now belongs to us. Excellent. That's just cost us 90 influence. We see up here is the co uh, it's how much influence we actually have. This does go up as we explore, as we complete missions, and also there's a passive increase based on how many planets we've already claimed as well. So don't worry, we will be getting plenty of this, uh, absolutely. We're going to send over to MG537, just randomly picked. Alpha Team's going to head out. There we go. We've got a bit more affinity now. So they will get more experience for the mission itself. So as we can see, Alpha Team is now heading off. Getting prepared. And off we go. Letting Quan go through first. That's a change from last time where we they made sure the team leader went through first. Uh, wonder what they'll find on the other side. Well, while they're gone and we're left alone to our own devices, and instead of just twiddling our thumbs, we're going to actually look at increasing what we've got around the base. So I'm going to pause it for a moment. So I'm not. Otherwise, I'm going to get constant interruptions and I get distracted easily. And yeah, it's it's not really that fun. So first of all, we're going to widen the corridor here a lot more. And then I'm going to move the mess hall over to this side. And I'm also going to allow for more generators. If you are curious as to why I'm doing it this way. It's because it effectively acts as a defense against what we might come across later in the game. So we're also for the mess hall. Have it like that, like that. And then eventually we're going to expand our barracks a bit more. So we're going to let the bots go and do that. We also do need to increase our laboratory as well so if i put say an extra four by three okay yes the new monthly budget has just arrived and we have made some money off our patent our singular patent two thousand one hundred and six dollars doesn't cover the salaries but in time hopefully it will now as for the patents, if we do go into here, ignore that for the moment, click on that, we'll actually see what patents we have. So this month, because there's a low demand, the patent will actually make less money for this particular month. Now, patents, when they've been written, do last a while and you make X amount per month over time. Generally on a downward slide, modifiers um, independent, as it were. We are going to need to get this done at some point. However, we're going to wait until the game prompts us. I don't want to jump too far ahead of the of the tutorial. I have jumped a little bit ahead on a few things. But I do want to kind of follow that. Alpha team has returned. Successful second mission. We've got ourselves a bunch of biosamples. They've got some experience. Quan's nearly hitting level two as well. So they're going to come in. And then what we're going to find is 
Emily. Honestly, this Emily, she's such a trooper. Absolutely. Straight straight back to work. The other two, like, no, we're taking a break now. But, yeah. So let's expand this laboratory. Let's tick off this, this final uh, one. There we go. It's ticked off. We were literally just needing one more to be done. So Rudy just sent us a message. Holy cow, you did it. I knew we'd find life out there, but not this quickly. I watched the stream. Incredible. Those legendary first words on an exoplanet. Just wow. Still, you'll need to keep the money flowing if you want to keep the committee sweet. Did I mention we can sell patents? Like I said, we've, we've, we've jumped ahead a little bit when I shouldn't have, but oh well. Develop theories by studying samples for missions and use them to publish patents. So we now need to form a second team. We need to get five scientific theories by studying samples. Look what they're doing. They're getting us theories. Excellent. And then we've got to write a single patent using multiple theories that will earn more than $3,000 per month. So the first thing to do is going to be we need more beds. We're just going to expand the general barracks at the moment. While the bots are right, go, heading over there, we're going to let Alpha Team just rest up a little bit. We're going to get some doors installed. I'm also going to get the power back up and ready. This is going to be the metal. So just get that metal there. And then as they're coming in, if it let me select the right one, thank you. That would. We're going to move it over. Then we're going to move this over as well. We're tiring the old mess all here. And then it's a case of oh, a bit of a shame. I should have actually had this a little bit wider thinking about it. Um, but alas, can't be done. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have a bunch of tables in the middle. There's a hot. There should, I should really see if there's a hotkey just to do this. I'd have to multiple click. I don't think there is, though. So move all these over. Excellent. Go into here. Sell all that. There we go. So we can now feed up to eight gators at a time. Next one is going to be our barracks. Click on it properly. That would be a good idea, Chris. Well done. So go and get all that through here. And then this entire area, we're going to turn into a bunch of bunch of rooms a bunch of barracks things like that i haven't really decided on any particular design at the moment if i'm to be honest so room for an extra four gators while that's building uh we're going to go into here new recruitment campaign scientist as low as possible, as long as possible. And we're going to spend the money to get, hopefully, the three that we want. Might end up being that we just recruit all three, no matter what they're charging. And now what we're also going to do is we're going to, we're going to claim this planet. And we're going to send Alpha Team out to here. Great mission. There we go. 36% affinity now. Excellent. Still no danger on this. Away we go. Base energy is critically low. This is why I started putting this in place. So let's fix it. There we go. More energy plants. We're also going to have a look. Let's have a look. Right, Peter. We don't have any multiples of any at the moment. Ideally, if you can be patient... And RNG rolls in your favor. What you want to do is only write patents when you've got five of any particular one. 
maximize the bonuses as much as possible. Just going to throw in a few more bio sample containers. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, why we're waiting for science to happen, is I'm just going to open this up a bit. Let's have a look here. And also do that as well. Just getting it prepared and ready for when we do another set of barracks. So get the barracks in. I think, I think I'll wait until they're finished like digging out the whole room before I start adding more work to it. I don't want to be you know, resorting back to the standard bot abuse that we, we're known for in Factorio and Dyson Sphere program. Right, we've only got six of them at the moment, bless them. And they've still got to go around maintaining things as well. So every item has a maintenance bar that slowly goes down and down and down. And it requires the mop. Uh, requires the bots to go round servicing them. And Alpha Team has just returned. And as we can see, quan has gone up to level 2. Anna's gone up to level 2 as well. And Emily's at level 3. So, and they're bringing back loads and loads of biosamples. Lots and lots of science to be had. So this time, Emily's come in and went, you know what? I'm always the one doing the work straight after the mission. I'm going to rest. I'm the team leader. You two can bloody do it. It's gone to get some food. Brilliant. Speaking of, let's, uh, let's add more food dispensers. There we go. Monthly budget. Next budget. We actually did make a bit more money, even though it was considered uh, less on the trending side. Less popular. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, we still made a little bit of extra money. Unfortunately, we're getting fewer applicants for scientists. Fortunately, also for us, scientists have just come, have just arrived. Let's, let's commence with the interviews. Let's have a look. We're not caring about this. We're caring about this. Nope. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Lee Miller. You're hired. Because you're cheap. Susan Chen. Jess Kelly. Grace Campbell. Grace Campbell. And Jess Kelly. Do I actually still want to hire Sam? Yeah, yeah. Let's tell you what. Let's hire. We're feeling generous. We're, we're still using the committee's money. Not our own. So let, let's let's get all generous. Let's 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 spend what we can, shall we? Okay. So now that we have our new scientists, we're going to jump them into a team. So we're going to go to this one. We're going to go to a beta team because we're following the Greek alphabet. We're going to make it as green. And what we're going to do? We're going to run a bit of a, a bit of a thing here. A bit of a theme. We're going to have every team run by a Canadian. That's what we're going to do. So, Lee Miller, uh, Jess Kelly, and uh, Zan Chen is going to be beta team. I like this idea. This is a good idea. And then we're also going to get Yammer team up and ready. ready. So, we've got Grace Campbell, again, Canadian. So, we're only going to create teams if we have a Canadian to lead them. Now, how about that for a gameplay limitation? But we can't actually make use of Gamma Team at the moment until we have a full team. So what we are going to do is we're going to take Emily Roy and we're going to put Grace Campbell into here. We are also going to send Beta Team out on their first mission. So we want to make sure it's a nice, easy one. There we go, PG394. I'm going to create mission. Good going beta. There you go. Added. Off you go. So now that this room is dug out, we're going to get the barracks in. And I'm sure that there's someone out there screaming, oh my God, Chris, you don't need to do all of this. It's such a waste of money. You are correct, but we are doing this in the whole spirit of the game, which is you do do the whole thing. 
Whereas if you wanted to do it most cost effective way is to only do it where you are putting stuff down. You don't need to do the whole room. But we are doing it this way. We are keeping with the spirit. So make sure that it's facing the right way. There we go. So we have room now for seven more the gators. A little bit more, well, a little less spacious than the previous barracks. Everyone's hanging around. We need to give them something to do. Now, I know I can research, but I'm waiting until it tells me, if I'm honest. Let's see what patents we've got. Okay, radiation resistance. So we're going to do two. Let me see, we've got a plus 5% bonus because we're combining patents. So as they are writing the patents, they do actually earn experience as well. So this is also a good way to level people up. Oh, beta team. Just, just as they finish their patent writing, beta team returns from their first mission. Very successful. We got some influence. We got some science. We got some XP. We got some bio samples. And more importantly, no injuries. Brilliant. So having a quick look, that hasn't triggered. So expected income. Not yet. We need an uncommon or a combination of a rare and some. So more missions. Let's claim that. But we're, we're claiming all the stars. So we're going to send out beta team again to here, even though they'll probably complain. They've just they've just got home. And, you know, we're just slave driving them, going, right, no, you, you go back out you go. They're just, yeah, they're, they're not going to be too happy about it. Uh, we're also going to send Alpha as well. So we're going to send both of them out. Yeah, so, <laughs> Sun Chen is too hungry to go on a mission. Quan Wu, Quan Wu, Quan Wu is in no condition to go on a mission. So they've got to rest up first. And once they've rested up, so it looks like Quan Yu was getting a bit of sleep. Then they will go on the mission. So we see Alpha Team. They are the Alpha Team for the reason. They're ready. They were just waiting for Quan to catch some Cs. She's caught some Cs. And off they go. Who, who's, who are they going to let go through first? It's like Quan again. So probably because she's just woken up and she kept everyone waiting. So she gets to be the guinea pig. See if it's still safe on the other side. So we've also got some more patents now. Have a quick look. What we've we got? Oh, medical treatment. So if we combine all three of these, this should apps yeah, like at, at minimum, it's it's triggering this. So this is excellent. This is absolutely excellent. The great Campbell, go and go and type on your little console. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. And you do something about the hair in this collar, mind you. The beta team is heading off. That Lee Miller is going through first, followed by Jess and Sam. There's also a bit of a commonality thing going on with all our gators at the moment. I can't quite put my finger on it. But it seems like they all have something in common. RNG's kind of made that happen. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Hmm. Tell you what, put down in the comments below if you if you figure out what I'm actually talking about. I won't spoil it for those who haven't worked it out. Grace is off to get some sleep. So it's just me and Grace left in the base now. That's it. Right, so. Alpha team is reporting in from RH919. Learn to read, Chris. Right, XO, we found a giant mushroom towering into the atmosphere. Let's have a look. Um, have we anything similar on record? There are continent spanning fungal colonies on Earth, but none as immense as this. It's one huge mushroom, cap and all. Estimated height is a couple of clicks. That's mental. If you don't know what a click is, it's a kilometer. It's swaying gently and singing to us. Take a sample, please. Roger that. I'll wait your report. XO, 
we're closer to the giant mushroom now. The singing is noticeably louder. Everything's becoming more majestic. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Majestic. All right, cool. Keep me informed. Don't, don't do anything stupid. We're going to get a report from Alpha very soon. And there we go. Alpha again. XO. Update on his uh, majesty. Wait, what? He, yes, his majesty. The mushroom king. His highness. His mightiness. Oh, it's just so majestic. So incredibly majestic. <laughs> it's everything all right over there. Ah, uh, oh, you failed. Ah, oh, never felt better. XR, his highness is protecting us somehow. We're singing his soothing. Majestic. I don't know what I've got in here. Yeah, 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 let's wrap this up. We don't like this. No, just no, 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 no. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not even going to read that. I'm interrupting you. Get out of there right now. Move. We shall obey with complete fealty. No, no, no. Just obey. Yeah. Don't, don't, whatever, whatever's going on now, I don't want to know. Oh, some of these missions are going to be really weird, aren't they? Anyway, Grace is doing patents. Alpha's reporting back in. XO, it's me. When we tried to take that sample from His Majesty, even though we didn't get it, it somehow broke the hold. Okay. No samples. Boo. But look at all that XP gain. Mental health has increased. Brilliant. That thing had infected the spores, most likely. We wanted to become one with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we kind of got the gist on that. We'll complete the rest of the mission. I think we'll be okay. The effect was quite localized. It was quite yeah, clever. It was quite clever, actually. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it was, yeah. Smart. Waiting new instructions. Continue exploration. Stay away from any singing plants. There we go. We'll come back. They found some other bio samples, at least. And Kwan and Anna's also gone up to level three. Emily's approaching level four. Look at that. This is our proper alpha team. You go. So they're coming back with more and more bio samples. Excellent. So we're still waiting on a beta team to wrap up. We haven't heard for anything from beta teams. I'm hoping that they're okay. We're going to find out very shortly. It might just be an uneventful mission. And they're just coming back with some things for us to turn into science hopefully anyway the committee is sending us message our finances are proceeding adequately but that could disappear quickly with a well-aimed lawsuit far be it from us to tell us how to how to run the initiative but our risk assessment shows we are lacking in the health and safety department you might also consider recruiting a soldier or two as well to help our investors feel more secure put it on your radar i mean it is on my radar but I was waiting for you to talk about it. Anyway, beta team has arrived. It wasn't an eventful mission. They've got XP. They've got bio samples. We've got influence. We've got science. Perfect. So the next thing we've got to do is build a research desk. So we're going to come over here. We're going to allow them to get some R&R. &R. So we're going to have research desk there. We're going to have a research desk there. It's going to get all nicely built. And then... What we're going to do is we're going to go to the med bay and we're going to get that queued up and ready. So as soon as they finish his building, they will start researching. Yay. As we can see, all the biosamples are being analysed. They're looking, going, hmm, -hmm yes, this is interesting. Hmm, yes. Hmm, I wonder what this does. Hmm, yes. Lots of typing. Scientist paradise is base at the moment. Look, we've, we've even got um, geometric shapes on the whiteboard as well. But while we are waiting for them to actually finish researching the med bay, I'll tell you what would be a good idea. Let's let's carve out a space for said med bay. So this is this is a guess, like how much room I want. Like it is a complete guess. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Four by four, maybe, maybe. There we go. We have re finished researching the med bay. Let's put something else in the queue, which is going to be the training room. Even though we are we are, we are jumping ahead a little bit, just you know, taking taking advantage of of the science that we've got. So we're going to get some doors in. To be honest, I'm probably going to want a double door on this one. Just thinking about it.
There we go. Then we're also now going to want to turn this into the med bay. And all oh, this month's monthly budget report. We're now making over $9,000 a month currently. This month's job popularity is a medic. What amazing timing. That's excellent. Our salary is currently 18,000. It's gonna go up. It's only one more direction it can go. Let's actually look at doing a recruitment campaign. So again, as cheap as possible in the salary. And to be fair, look, we, we're getting plenty of options. So look, tell you what, let's spend 6,000, 10 days, 3,000 max monthly wage. Gives us up to five, maybe six options. So as we are getting this done, so we need more power. Always more power. Never enough power, no matter what. Always need more. So we're going to build power plants there. We're going to build power plants there. We're going to future-proof it a little bit and just build six immediately. And there we go. Excellent. One, two, three four five and six there we go we've learned to count to six with big wolf chris today there's your education for whatever time zone you're in you, you can let you can rest that uh, brain now and then we're going to come back over here now we can do uh, the diagnosis bed so we're going to do one here and then one here So, bed, 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 bed. So, we can do up to four injured gators. We're also going to want some actual treatment as well. I think, I think I'll stick with two. And now, we've got up to six medics to choose from. We are picking the cheapest first. So, the cheapest two. So, Troy Adams... And Nina Hoffman. There you go. Hired. Welcome aboard. Do we want anyone else? Do we want anyone else? Hmm. Hmm. Snow Canadians. We're gonna take we're gonna take the Frenchman. There we go. We're gonna have three medics. Excellent. And we're gonna actually put the Frenchman on onto Gamma Team. We have Gamma Team to be a little bit mixed, not just one class of gator and you can see because she's writing the patent she's already at level three like she's already higher than the whole of beta team like she's beta team now basically but speaking of beta team let's send beta team out they've had they've had enough time to rest but we're going to quickly claim those planets uh, we now we can't claim this one we don't have enough influence which is a shame so we're going to send a beta team to here there's now actually a bit of Injury chance because their level and the recommended level there's a difference. We're gonna chance it because if they get injured, it gives our new medic something to do. So go for it. Now, as for what one, what one do we want to go to now? Let, let's randomly pick PS701. I'm gonna send Alpha Team. They've also got a bit of of an injury chance as well. About you go. Just thinking, security being security conscious. Once I go throw a corridor here. But we don't want to just have this as the only entrance and in a long line. We do want other corridors. It also gives the bot something to do while we're waiting. So let's just quickly jump ahead to the next mission report. Okay, so here we are. Beta team has returned. More influence, more science, more XP, more bio samples, and more importantly, no injuries. Though our medics are very disappointed in this. Never mind. Speaking of medics, I just realized this again. Like, no. Uh, You really want, game. you really want us to waste space, don't you? So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cheese this. We're going to get this wall knocked out. I'm going to connect the two, then sell it, 
and then put the wall back in. Hopefully, that should complete the um, complete the quest, the objective. We can hope. Anyway, let's have a look. Will it complete it? It's completed it. Excellent. Right, so now we can sell it. Oh, Alpha Team has returned. And no injuries. That's that's. I don't know. That's disappointing. Actually, we we wanted to see the medics in action. Like at the moment, they're just freeloading. So we can put a wall in back here. So we now we've already researched the training room. We need to now hire a soldier. So we're going to go into the recruitment campaign. We're going to get some soldiers. As cheap as possible for as long as possible and yeah, yeah, yeah that's that works i like that cheap soldiers <clears throat> made a fortune and then we also le need to launch a mission with a soldier on the team which is fine it's gonna be gamma team it's already decided we've also got a bunch of stuff if we have a look here we've got six to choose from so we're gonna go with the highest five right look at that Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And this is why we wait. Do we want to send out for more expeditions? Yeah, we're going to like keep claiming the cheapest sectors for the time being. Mm, we're going to connect to... I'm going to claim this one. And then we're going to connect to MN831. Looks like, it looks like a nice tropical paradise. We're going to send the Alpha team over. So a small injury chance. Good affinity. So they're going to go through. Now we're going to send Beta team to this one. Now this got a different icon underneath it. And what this means is, is that missions here will gain extra experience versus other places. So in this case, it's an extra 200% experience. But because of the level, there is a bit of an injury chance. But still, we're going to chance it. Off we go. And Alpha Team is... Two members of Alpha Team is too tired. We, we've been working them too hard, maybe. But Beta Team is going to head out. It's absolutely fine. We've got a poster here. Exogate initiative, unknown worlds. Hmm, beautiful. Anyway, monthly budgets come in. But now it's at eight thousand dollars. Scientist is now not a favorable job position. But this month's trending topic is regeneration. And the untrending topic, the opposite of trending, is heat resistance. What patent are we actually doing again? Will it tell me? I can't remember. It was cold resistance, wasn't it? So, we, yeah, we've um, we've lucked out. So, as we continue to wait, Alpha Team is now heading back out. We are also now going to actually set up a training room. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if we should wait on this, but th there is a benefit to the training room, so that's why I'm going to do it. So, we're going to... Four by four. Uh, I don't know. I might have to expand that a bit more. I'm not sure. So the training room is as you would you would expect. And speaking of soldiers, um, it allows you people to train. Change that. Go to training room. You could train in it. So anyway, John Davis. G Gilly Gilherm Silva, Fernanda Alves, Daniel Sousa. So we've got two Brazilians, three Brazilians, and an American. Obviously, we've got to hire all three Brazilians. Sorry, we, we just got to. Um, John, uh, you're technically not the weakest link, but you're the odd one out, so goodbye. So we now have three soldiers. We're going to throw one of these soldiers onto Gamma Team. Um, in fact, actually, we are going to hire John. John's going to go onto Gamma Team. 
I'm going to leave the uh, uh, Brazilians for home defense. Oh, beta team has returned. Uh, this was pure XP, so we don't get any samples. We get lots of experience points. They get to go and rest now. Oh, there was still a bio sample that needed analyzing. Hmm, fair enough. Now we can see. Look, look how badass you look. Yes, badass indeed. Anyway, training room, training room, training room. I get so easily distracted, honestly. So many shiny lights. So many fancy things. Look. Look, it's a light. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, if this was running, I'd be more distracted by this, but it's not. It's quite idle at the moment. Do I want more missions? Do I want to send out Gamma T? Hmm. I'm going to go with yes. We are going to send out Gamma Team. I'm going to go. What is going to be the weakest one? Um, hmm. Hmm. Can we send them out to this XP world? Yes. Let's send them out to this XP world. Gamma Team. Now, because they have a soldier, it actually lowers the injury chance. And there's also a medic. So if there is an injury as part of an event, we could be able to heal them. Off world. We'll see. Anyway, Gamma, off you go. That's a hell of a first mission. So, Alpha team has returned. Guan Wu has come back injured. Lost 17 health points. <gasps> That's quite a lot of health points. But look at them. They've all gone up to level four. So, yes, because of how injured she is. She is going to be going into the diagnosis pod. Let's see what's happened. Oh, hang on one minute. We've got a, an important communique from Rudy. I'm uneasy seeing soldiers with scientists, but I suppose the committee has have a point. I suppose the committee have a point. I suppose the committee has a point. Not everything, nor everyone we meet out there might be friendly. Who says we're going to meet a one? Might be lots of things, but we don't yet know if there's going to be a one. Okay? Good job with the self-care too. Can't have gators getting God knows what on their faces without a med bay. Hmm. Well, it seems Quan has, might have got something on her face. Uh, the committee also wants uh, a word. You know what would further our scientific progress faster than studying mere plant samples? Specimens taken from live animals. Imagine the new theories your scientists could devise to write even more profitable patents. Because he cares about scientific advancement. No, it's about the money. And no, we don't care how the cute the alien critters are. I do. I want cute alien critters roaming the base. Devs, there's a feature request for you. Juan is still getting diagnosed. She's got frostbite. So if it was on her face, she might have lost her nose. But it looks like she's got frostbite on her elbow. Maybe. Hmm. But anyway, you've been diagnosed with frostbite. You're getting into the med bed. And then who's coming over? Troy Adams is coming over to help you out. Just checking out your chart. Having a quick look. Treating you. Just jabs you like sod it. Don't care. Here's here's the hypothermic needle. Bang! Straight in your gamma team. Exo, do you believe in ghosts? Uh, no, not really. Nothing supernatural. Everything else. Or would have a scientific explanation. Sensitive topic, huh? No, it's not. No, it's not. Grace, stop. Well, if you don't, how do you explain the rainbow spectral shapes lurking before us right now? Um. There's probably another explanation. Okay, you want us to expect it. Just so you know, we were sleeping in the desert when the eerie light woke us up. With that in mind, any instructions? Hmm, we don't have a scholar. We're not even close to unlocking a scholar. Try talk to them. Go on. If you think they, if you actually think they're ghosts, uh, we've got a bunch of XP, but everyone's mental health just decreased. Like, they must think I'm mad. I mean, I am mad, but that's not the point. Anyways, what we got? Nothing. It's just weaving and waving. Oh, what? They disappeared. Well, I guess we're going back to sleep. 
Okay, check everything one last time. We will do. Good night, Gamma. More XP. Excellent. They're getting lots of XP. There you go. Beautiful. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that the medics, when they are... Yeah, they are getting XP as helping... Uh, Gamma team reporting in. The Rainbow Ghost came back. This time I want... I want results. The an analysis is in progress. Everyone's hungry. Everyone's fatigued. They're going to need a long hour and hour when they get back. Okay. <clears throat> I'm 100% sure it's a natural phenomenon. It's a mirage created by the desert and an aurora. Meaning that our brain is playing a trick on us. Emerging them together. See? Told ya. <laughs> I was right. Uh, we got some... Science points as well. Uh, they're massively, their brain fatigue's increasing. Fair enough. Nothing else, I'm afraid so. Uh, but it's really beautiful to behold. So think about it. The stellar wind entering the atmosphere, exciting the atoms, creating the aurora. Add to this an inferior mirage. And you've got, wow, beautiful, unique aurora ghosts. Nice. Reminds you of a song. Please don't. Uh, if there's something... Sh oh, no, no, I'm hanging up. No, no, I'm hanging up before I get DMCA'd. What should we do next? Continue exploration and no copyrighted songs, please. Thank you. So Nina is now helping out with Quan. This this must have been some serious um, frostbite. Are you actually going to... There we go. Like, every, every click. I finally found the pixel to uh, get at what we've got. So she's now healed. A medical condition has been treated. So she just needs a lot of talking to people, some food, just some rest. And to be fair, Gamma Team is also going to need a rest when they get back. But you know who doesn't need a rest or shouldn't need a rest? That's right. It's Beta Team. You're up. Let's see. Uh, we're going to send you to this XP planet. Beta Team, off you go. Let's see. 27% mission difficulty. We've got more experience than we can throw a stick at. Or shake a stick at, rather. And then, that's, uh, off they go. Um, Gamma team, they can high-five until they're passing by. The Gamma team comes back with a lot of experience. So they're going to need a hell of a lot of rest. Like, seriously. <laughs> a lot of brain fatigue. Some food, some sleep. They're not as fatigued as I expected. I was expecting them to be a bit more fatigued. But, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. So, next off, next off, what are we going to do? Right, we need to we need to research. Like, we were told what we were going to do. And we just completely ignored it because I got sidetracked. Surprise, surprise. So, there we go. We've got a lot of science, that's for sure. So, we're going to now study the ability to study specimens. Excellent. Any more patents we've got? Mm, we haven't got any fives. We've only got three here. So we're going to hold off. We're going to wait a bit. Anyway, training room. While we're waiting, let's get the shooting range in. So. One, two, three, and four. So our soldiers have got somewhere to train. And it, not just the soldiers train here. Everyone can train, should they want to. And then we're also going to want a weight room. If, to be honest, uh, thinking about it though, I could just do... What, what, what do we think? Health and safety be damned? Health and safety be damned. Have a weight room inside the shooting range. I'm absolutely positive that nothing is going to go wrong here. I'm, I'm convinced nothing will go wrong. As we can see, off the go, shooting, bang, 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 bang. So, I'm oh, sorry, wrong, wrong sound effect. Pew, 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 pew. Science fiction. Let's get it correct. So, here comes Beta Team. Jess has gotten herself injured, but look at all that glorious experience that they've come back with. Influence and science. Oh, it's amazing. And in the meantime, we've also finished studying a specimen study research. Yes. Lots of studying. Jess is going in. But that is going to be it for today's little episode 
and adventure. Things are starting to take shape. There seems to be a little bit of organisation. We're now up to three teams. We've got a security team. We've got a medic. We've actually got a couple of medics. We've got three medics in total if we want to be extra precise. But yes, so if you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button if you've not already. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Comment down below. Just tell me your thoughts. Let me know what's good, what's bad. It's about improving. You know, I've spent two and a half years away from YouTube. I've already just come back. Guide me, Obi-Wan. Anyway, don't forget, I also stream practically every evening on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Big Wolf Chris. So head over there if you want to catch me live playing all sorts of games, like loads of games. I do so many games, it's unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a good one and ciao for now.